visual acuity for both eyes, including projection of light for those with vision less than 3 by 60 with poor view of the fundus. Visual acuity is the conventional and standard test of visual function in patients with cataracts. However, some patients retain relatively good visual acuity, yet complain of poor vision. In these patients, other tests of visual function such as contrast sensitivity should be evaluated. Slit lamp examination is done for cataract grading, corneal details and fundus examination. Nuclear cataracts are graded according to their color and opacification using slit lamp examination. Cortical and posterior subcapsular cataracts are graded instead using retroillumination. Intraocular pressure or IOP should be done in all patients. If it is done using a contact procedure, then it should be done one day prior to surgery and not on the day of surgery. Patency of lacrimal duct shows BW checked including application of pressure over the sac region. If sac syringing is done, should be done one day prior to surgery. All patients are preferably seen by the operating surgeon. If it is not feasible, the surgeon must examine all one-eyed patients, all those with associated complications requiring deviation from regular surgical technique, and all those posted for re-surgery. Slit lamp examination should be done to look for the following important findings. Conjunctival congestion. Discharge. Cornea and anterior chamber depth. Lens opacity and phacodonesis. You must see pupillary reaction to rule out posterior segment disorders. Posterior segment evaluation of both eyes should be performed, if the fundus can be visualized. Indirect ophthalmoscopy is advised to examine patients with advanced cataracts. Diffraction of both eyes should be done, to cross-check intraocular lens power. If there is any mistake in biometry, this will help in avoiding implantation of incorrect intraocular lenses.